Hey everybody, Jody with New England Reptile Shows, and I'm going to show you my superworm colony. I've been working on this thing for a little over eight months now, and I found with a whole bunch of uh, trial and error and, well, even more patience, figured out how to get these guys to actually start reproducing. So I'll show you here, I have uh, three different drawers, and this one I have my beetles. Now these guys here, um, I realized that the more you have, the worse it is. They don't really breed very well if you have too many, so I really had to condense this down quite a bit. But these guys are actually starting to reproduce now. I, uh, I have them next to a heater, very simple. And it works, they're actually reproducing. So let's see if I can get in really close here so you can see some of these babies. So if I move some of this out of the way, you might see them moving around. There you go, I don't know if you can see that, but there's thousands and thousands of tiny little babies just squirming around under there. So that's really, really good. I'm happy about that. So today I just put in some uh, sliced potatoes in here. Um, thank you to the user on Facebook who gave me that idea. It's working, they're already going to town on it. So that was a super good idea, look at them all. They're like, yeah, lunch, check it out. So what I did is, um, on the bottom of this drawer, I drilled some holes. I don't know if you can see that, but there's holes under there. So that when the babies are big enough, they're going to actually bury themselves down or dig themselves down as far as they possibly can to the bottom of the drawer. And then hopefully what they'll do is end up at the next drawer down right here. And this is just a, a drawer that's ready to go. It's got a, a bunch of oats. And I don't see any babies in here yet. I've been looking every day. No movement yet. So the babies will go in here. Um, got another really good tip to uh, keep them separated by size, which I'm going to do. And then this drawer down here is where all the, the live soupworms, the bigger ones, are going to go. And then any of them that we don't use will hopefully turn into the larva like this. And then they'll turn into beetles. Like this one has just turned to a beetle probably within the past couple of days. So I'm going to move this guy up to the top drawer soon once he uh, once he's fully black. He's not quite 100% beetle yet, but he'll move up when he's ready. I had a couple other little larvae in here too, but I don't see them now. But yeah, so that's my colony. If anybody has any uh, tips or advice for me, anything I could be doing different, feel free, let me know. There you go.